here on KADYTV.com. It is Wednesday, November 24th, the day before Turkey Day. Thank you so much for joining us and making us a part of your day. Um, if you are on the road, then you're not watching us, obviously. You're stuck in traffic, um, so my heart goes out to you. But we have a really interesting treat this afternoon. First of all, uh, coming up in our next uh, segment at 4.30, we have Howard J. Fox, who has written a book called the Truth About Men, Revealing the Mysteries of the Men's Weekends. And he's going to be visiting with us in studio. And I, for one, am very interested in, in to hearing what he has to say. Um, I always say I love men. I've got a dad, two brothers, and three sons, and a couple ex-husbands. So um, <laughs> throw that into the mix. So whatever truth he's going to share, we're, he's going to share with us. So you'll get to learn. So we have in studio with us Bob Allen. Now you may have heard the name Bob Allen. Um, Bob is uh, my business partner here at KABYTV.com. So we're kind of taking, as I say, um, is it this camera I'm looking at? No, it's this camera. This one, this one the middle that one. That one? Yeah. How come I'm not, it doesn't look like I'm looking at it. <laughs> yeah, that camera is, is solely on you. Okay. This one is on Bob, and this is the two of you. So, as we've said, this is internet television, and it's a real reality show. The re I don't know if you know or not, um, the reality shows that they suggest, like Jersey Shore, and what are the other ones? Um, well, they've just over overburdened everything. <laughs> over well, everything. it's not really real. What they do <laughs> is that they, um, and even Dancing with the Stars, because I interviewed... Um, uh, Gosh, Ratzenberger, John Ratzenberger, who was on Cheers, who was the post postal worker, he was on you know, Dancing with the Stars, and when he got eliminated, I had my radio program then, and he uh, he said they they do you you know cover you for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and he said, and one time I lost my temper, and that's what they chose to put in the episode, yeah. so it looked yeah. like I was a prick, and um, so that's what they do is while it might not be scripted because the original ones were scripted. They wait until something happens to create drama, even though that might just be a little bit of, of the scene. So it's really not real. This is real. <laughs> this is true. This is real. <laughs> Tru truly real. <laughs> so I keep saying it's a real reality yeah. show. So um, another thing that we do with the program that we've decided to do is that sometimes, uh, or actually after the breaks, in between guests, like yesterday we had three, or Monday we had yeah. three different guests yeah. on the show. So two segments with, or no, one segment with one, two segments with one, and three segments with the other. And in between, we kind of put that banner that says the Maria Sanchez show on it. And now we decided we're just going to let the cameras roll, and you're going to see what goes on. So one guest gets up and leaves, the other one comes in, make introductions, because we don't always know everybody, and um, it is what it is. So um, as you, Bob, so aptly said, rewriting the rules of local broadcasting. It, it, it's something, Maria, that, you know, as you and I got started, I just happened to be another man in that chain in your life. <laughs> I was thinking of it as you said that. So, oh, there comes Bob. And, you know, it's been... <laughs> it's so true. Thank you for pointing and, that out. And in a way, it really is, because this has become a passion for the two of us. I, I mean, I... Being a salesman my whole life, and I like to think of myself as a professional salesman, not an order taker, I've always looked at technology as my edge against any of my competition. So for me to see where we are now, uh, it, it, we have a technology that we're sitting here in a studio with three cameras. Uh, no more than four months ago, we started this whole thing. We have almost 50 shows that we've done since August already. And, uh, you know, you and I are out in that community that we're so aptly talking about that both of us share the passion of what we're trying to do here. And that's bring a media source to Ventura County and, and throughout the county, not just, you know, the city we're in Ventura, but there's a lot of things that go on here that would be great in the East County. And we're up at the Ronald Reagan Museum so we're starting to get around, and it's uh, it has been a, a real, wild ride. I was going to say, <laughs> I was looking to say pleasure, and I really I just couldn't spit it out. <laughs> well, it has been a pleasure, and um, I I didn't realize we had done fifty episodes. Yeah. I mean that's a lot, and that's I, I not know. even segments. That's different different yeah, things, it's, different guests, different events. When you're looking when you're looking at the 
archives. The archives, and you see the things that we've done and the people we've had in here. You, you just have to be proud of what we've been what we have been accomplished. So, if you're new to the program, what Bob is referring to is on our website. Uh, it has archives, and there's a drop down. No, there's it's a page that shows and you click to watch, but you can see it's about one sentence summary of about what we what we little were summary, doing. The date that it was broadcast, the original date, the summary, uh, you know, of what it was about, and then just a click and basically the player comes up and you can watch any of the shows in the archive. And um, one of the beauties of that is, is because we're live Monday through Friday at four o'clock, obviously not everybody has that on their schedule that they're able to accommodate us, especially if you're driving, since we're internet. Um, but as Bob pointed out, in your uh, household, you pretty much TiVo or whatever you call well, it, record things. We, we do DVR, digital video recordings. And, you know, why have to watch something live, okay, if, if it causes me where I can't be there? So to have these pre recorded on a, you know, a digital video recorder so that whether I'm there or not, it's being recorded, at least I have the opportunity to watch it when I decide to watch it. And that's, in a way, what we're doing. We're well, it's actually, I'm sorry to interrupt you, it's almost like on demand. The, our archives are, are available on demand. So, And that's exactly what it is. So what we're trying to do is to hit both of the markets, okay, of people. We know that there are a lot of people that like to watch things live, okay? Right. It's one of those things. i got to watch it live. But there's others that are now certainly you know, being transferred into that atmosphere of watching it on a uh, demand whenever right. they want. And we, well, of course, want to encourage live viewing because actually um, what you see here, we can't tinker and we don't tinker with. Um, not that the archives have been tinkered, but you, well. No, no, I think, what, I think, no, no, I think what you're saying is, is that we now have the capability during a live broadcast to have somebody call in on a phone or even on Skype, and we now have the technology to be able to bring that video into a split screen, just like, quote unquote, the big boys do. Right. So, you know, these are the kinds of things that are keeping us ahead of the pack, shall we say? Because certainly everybody is trying hard to figure out how to monetize and make money at something like this, and it only comes from one thing, good content. Right. Because good content brings people to watch. And certainly since, you know, you and I have, you know, started doing this, it's been such a pleasure seeing, you know, the amount of people watching it going up on a regular basis. The special events that we do, I mean, we were out with the Dallas Cowboys when they landed, and we had, what, just shy of 10,000 unique visitors watching it while they landed that day. So, you know, at least we're getting the ability to know how to get an audience to watch. And that comes from good content. And certainly, you know, you've proven that just over the last couple of months with the type of people that we've been able to bring in here. Well, I think that speaks to the point that what we're trying to do, it, we are doing actually. And uh, what it is is to bring Ventura County to Ventura County residents or the folks who, who work here or who... Um, not just live here, but who have people that they care about that live here. Um, I would say that we are the Los Angeles bastard stepchild and the, the Santa Barbara's redhead cousin, and being a redhead, I can say that, that, so that we get to focus on the county. And so our mission statement is about the county, by the county, and for the county. So with that in mind, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, maybe we'll show the demo reel. So if you're new to KADYTV.com, you can see a little bit of what we've done. And then when we come back, um, I want to get into Bob's uh, history because it's a pretty uh, eclectic, eccentric one. And you are watching the Maria Sanchez Show on KADYTV.com. We'll be right back. The Maria Sanchez Show is about the county, by the county, and for the county. Whether we're broadcasting live from the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library, checking in with the leaders in our communities, hearing from our elected officials,
helping to promote public safety, preparedness, and wellness. We are here for the needs of Ventura County. The Maria Sanchez Show is also about entertainment and events. Sharing information, creating awareness, and supporting those in need. Won't you join us as we rewrite the rules of local television on the Maria Sanchez Show at www.kadytv.com. Welcome back to the Maria Sanchez Show. We're live. It is Wednesday, November 24th. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got Byron and Annette in the uh, control room today. Ordinarily, it's Rodney and Annette. And I mentioned playing the demo reel, and lo and behold, Byron and Annette got that together. And I'm very impressed, too, because when I mentioned our next guest coming up, Howard J. Fox, uh, who's written a book, The Truth About Men, he's a uh, Conejo Valley resident, um, they showed the cover of the book, too. So you know, thank you, you guys, for being on, on it. We appreciate that. And then it, we should say in st guest studio, we have David and... Jane. Jean. Jean. Jamie. 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 Is it Rios? Rios. Rios. Mm -hmm. um, helping us out today, too. And uh, so we're grateful for your presence here as well. Wait a second. Do we have to give him credit at the end <laughs> for that? <laughs> so in studio, the wisecracker is uh, my business partner, Bob Allen, who um, his wife of 48 years, mm -hmm. Elaine, um, when you're in a partnership, you're, it's like a marriage, of course, without the sex. But um, here, it's a partnership that involves Elaine, too. And um, as Bob mentioned in the prior segment, we have been running and gunning since August. And um, if it weren't for Elaine's, gosh, what could we say? Passion, patience, tolerance, acceptance it wouldn't have been possible. I, I um, have the dubious honor of living alone for the first time in my adult life. And so I don't owe anybody anything, which is a real interesting place for me to be, having been a mother of four and a wife of several. So... Um, <laughs> We really need to give Elaine kudos for that. You know, it, it certainly I, I could go back my whole life with Elaine. And, uh, you know, after 48 years of marriage, uh, you certainly, uh, I, I love her so much. And what she is able to put up with, with me, uh, you know, during some of these times. Because, you know, you wish that it could end when you leave like it used to. But now you go home and there's the computer and... Before long, you're upstairs, you're working again. So. Good point. But I think she understands that I am a much happier person when I'm doing something that I have a love and a passion for. And most people ask me, and it's real simple, I, I just say I'm re not only rewriting the rules of television, I'm redefining what retirement means. It means you get up in the morning and you do what you choose to do and love to do. But, Bob, I think you're extraordinary in that um, Bob doesn't, first of all, you don't look your age. Uh, okay. Everybody who I tell, they're like, no way. And second of all, because Bob knows so much about technology, that not only makes you uh, young in mind, you're young at heart. Yeah. Um, I am a techno stunad dinosaur. Um, I swore that I was never going to get one of these. And then when I was a director with the American Red Cross, they gave me one because I was uh, the director of communications and development, and I had to be on call 24 hours a day. And so for two weeks, I didn't have it on. And my boss walks into my office, and he goes, Rhea, you're not on your BlackBerry. What's that about? And I said, ignorance <laughs> and resistance. <laughs> and he said, get over it. <laughs> so well, it was like, all right. Yeah. Well, if there's anybody that really, and it was funny because... When I, I just got the new, about two months ago, the new uh, Droid phone. So I was home naturally, you know, like everything else. And we're sitting around after dinner, you know, watching some TV. And I take the Droid out. And Elaine looks at me. She says, so you're going to have fun with that in bed tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and then about, oh, I guess it was two, about last month, we got her her new phone and now she's sitting there at the television <laughs> saying, hey, Lane, you're taking that? I use a couple of choice words that I'd rather not use, you know, on television. But 
It's a learning process, and it's when people respect each other's love for what they're doing. It's like an artist. My wife happens to be an artist. I wish that she would start painting again because it's the most relaxing I had ever seen, but you're absolutely right. It, she, she has made it a little possible for me to try and keep up with probably one of the most vibrant women I've ever met in my life, and that's my partner sitting right here. Thank you, and you yeah. might let everybody know that you claim that you are at a weight that you haven't been for 30 years. You yeah. lost 15 pounds, I overheard you say, and not, I was like, not, hello, <laughs> what about here? Yeah, I'm a very giving person. I'd be happy to give my 15 pounds to somebody if, if you know of somebody who would want some. Actually, I have some really good news. I went to a local, um, my dad has this a similar thing that I have, was diagnosed with, which is adrenal fatigue, and it affects your metabolism. Mm. And um, it has nothing to do with the thyroid. So my dad just got diagnosed, and his MD, my mom just emailed me last night, prescribed this homeopathic thing that has something to do with mushrooms. Okay. And so I went on, I got all the information last night, I thought, okay, that's it now, because I've been seeing a, an op, uh, my OB, who's an alternative medicine specialist, and it's been nine months and there's not a lot of progress. I'm, yeah. I'm getting a little impatient. So um, I went to this gal who's right here local. It's uh, Emma's Herbs. She's mm -hmm. literally the mm -hmm. next block. Right on the corner. Yeah. She grabs my feet. First thing she says, stress, adrenals, pituitary, uh, liver, and kidney. And she said not nothing bad, like diagnosable, and she's convinced that I'm going to, within four weeks, going to have... Everything taken care of. Wow. Yeah. So I, she's fascinating. So I said to her, you have to come and do a segment on the show. But she didn't give me anything for free. I paid for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people think I mentioned her because for that reason. But um, she, just the way her brain works and, and how she, she's from you, uh, Slovenia? Slovakia? Something like that. Yeah. You know, it really brings up an interesting point worth discussing a little bit. It's really what we started this out about, Okay. Certainly, we want to bring the information to our neighbors, okay, in the media. But we also want to help local business people who are our friends and neighbors anyway. How did they get their message out to the rest? So when you start talking about an Emma's Herb, certainly we haven't done anything to deserve other than her being a nice person who's helped you. Right. It's a way of discussing, and hopefully those are the things that we can create you know, a network here that goes back to the same way that the internet first started. And the first things that people did was they created web rings. Didn't matter where you were in the world. And if we could basically start doing that here in our own little community where we get people of likenesses, you know, that certainly we could start interacting to create that network, it then gets all of the information that we're trying to get out to the general public. Well, in, uh, which brings us to another point, which is uh, 805, Meet the Boss 805, yes. and that is a feature that Bob um, mentioned in that on our website, which um, Bob has created a new link for that, that we're going to launch uh, that. We'll be up this weekend. We'll be yes. this weekend. It is, it keep, it, the best way I can describe it is it's a visual yellow pages. Yeah, that, okay. that, that's the simplest form of it. Okay. And it's uh, it gives folks sixty to ninety seconds to talk about who they are, what they do, and we will go to their place of business if they want, or mm -hmm. they can come here and in studio. And that's one way that mm -hmm. we're trying to hook the community up with one another. So we're catalog cataloging it or categorizing it, like yeah. with restaurants, golf, um, automotive dealers, uh, healthcare practitioners. Yeah, and we'll keep adding as we find groups of people, Clusters, you know, like yeah. day spas, okay, right. and stuff that are good for people now. We're finding, and, and you just started talking about holistic medications and medicines. I think as more and more of the, and I'm going to say I spent a lot of time in China in the late 80s and, you know, early 90s, and I saw things I never imagined that I could see, okay, and it's, people being able to take headaches away from them by just sitting down and thinking it through and with certain herbs and everything, certainly being able to things that we, you know, kind of feel we have to take, you know, antibiotics for and stuff like that. So the learning process of what we're going to be learning in the community and the more people that we could bring in to help educate everybody, like our seniors, 
You know, it's the, right. all the different segments that we're doing, which we can get into, you know, during the next segment, certainly. Okay. So um, Bob Allen is my in-studio guest, and um, we are business partners behind KADYTV.com. Uh, and when we do come back, we will talk about, we've launched our network with the Maria Sanchez Show, because we meet Monday through Friday at 4 o'clock. Um, we will be developing other local talents so that they, too, will then have their own program on this network within their field of expertise. Uh, and so if you have any suggestions along those lines, please do. And we're featuring a nonprofit every day also when possible. You're watching The Maria Sanchez Show on KADYTV.com. We'll be right back. The Maria Sanchez Show is about the county, by the county, and for the county. Whether we're broadcasting live from the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library, checking in with the leaders in our communities, hearing from our elected officials, helping to promote public safety, preparedness, and wellness. We are here for the needs of Ventura County. The Maria Sanchez Show is also about entertainment and events. Sharing information, creating awareness, and supporting those in need. Won't you join us as we rewrite the rules of local television on the Maria Sanchez Show at www.kadytv.com. <laughs> Welcome back to the Maria Sanchez Show. We're having so much fun. <laughs> and we hope that you're going to have a wonderful holiday with your family. And remember attitude, the attitude of gratitude. There's something that um, I learned when I w had my radio program. It was my morning show. I was on... Um, uh, then it was called KKZZ, it was 1520, now it's KKZZ 1400 and then KVTA. But uh, this a man was a health guru, kind of a life coach-ish, and he said that stress and gratitude are emotions that cannot coexist. So that if you find yourself being st feeling stressful, if you will enunciate, make it a visual and emotional exercise to start thinking about everything that you're grateful of, and for and about that the stress cannot exist and if I, when I wake up in the middle of the night I, I use that and it works every time you know I, I could when Dr. Bunny Breland was doing her show she basically makes a statement that she has not had a headache in 25 years I've never had one Oh, okay. I, I, no, no, I'm, <laughs> saying she, I, I'm saying people who have headaches, uh -huh. and she had, had been prone to headaches, basically she, she has been able to, to rewire herself. Rewire herself. I, I've seen, I, I had a young man who was my agent from Taiwan. We were in Dallas, and I mean, he was sick. And we were ready to get back on the plane, and I said, you know, Scott, you sure you want to get on a plane the way you're feeling? He says, just give me 20 minutes to sit there. And it almost he went into a trance. He got up from there, and he was okay. I mean, I, unless you saw it. I, I remember a friend of mine, we went over, and uh, we had to delay a trip to China because he had some real serious back problems. We got over, and they took him to a doctor. It was with acupuncture, I have to agree. That's the bit, We're going back to 1990, 1991. I saw him get up and start walking without pain. So I think that the things that, you know, the world is going to learn as stuff like the internet and, you know, video uh, gives the ability, except it's, it's so cluttered, there's so much information coming that you almost have to have your lo little local community, okay, that has a show like the Maria Sanchez show where, you know, we have political correspondence, we have contributors that are coming on. Certainly the hope of that show is, I, I know when I say this, people are going to think I'm crazy, 
but we have our own Oprah Winfrey right here in Ventura County, and it's in the form of Maria. And Thank the you. hope is is that we will have many Dr. Phil's as doing segments on your show that then become a show amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. We have people here right now, David and Janie Rios, okay, that literally, uh, they, that's how they started. It was an idea for doing something in this realm of video. And who knows how that might turn out. So at least this way, all marketing has to be measurable. And the beauty of internet television is that not only can we not have, we do not have to estimate how many people are watching this, we know how many unique visitors are here watching this show today. Right. What, do we know uh, how many folks access the uh, archives? The answer is yes. Okay. Yes. So it's, it, let's say we, um, Bob Allen, by the way, is our in-studio guest. He's the business partner with uh, KADYTV.com with uh, myself. And um, like we mentioned, the Reagan Library, we're trying to stay also as unbiased and nonpartisan and objective as possible. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, and our political correspondent is Scott Harris, who is brilliant. Um, he owns a marketing company in the Conejo Valley, and he takes the time every Wednesday to drive to, to, to be with us, which is why he's not here today, because I said, go and be with your family. He has tons of family in from out of town, and you know, no worries. But um, I always caution that, please, let's share the facts. Then you can give your opinion, but let everybody have the information first so that then they can either get more information and make their own opinion or that they have a little more knowledge that is um, not partisan. Which, I, I, I mean, Fox News is making a fantastic amount of money by being partisan. So obviously that works. And you might say, okay, so then why aren't you following the formula that works? And it's because it's my personal philosophy is that I think that knowledge is power and that the more information you have, the better the choices you will be able to make and then go ahead and make whatever choice you want. That came out in the political arena this year when Scott Harris was in here and he was took the time to go over each one of the propositions that were on the show okay so <laughs> it's okay we have one one person in turn her cell phone off she gets 20 lashes with a wet noodle Jesus it's 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 louder and louder. In a way, it's the beauty, but it's the day before Thanksgiving, and you know a lot of people certainly have started their holiday, right. you know already. And you wanting to do this, it it just brings out the passion of what you have. And this is more than just you getting in front of a camera. You have a goal and a desire to really be altruistic and help people. You've been with the American Red Cross as a you know working for a couple of years, you understand all the nonprofit agencies, you know the people in this community. As we get out, sure we do a show here every day, but I think when I see you and I go out to see Chief Crombach's retirement and we see all the people coming over to you or we're up at uh, Sheriff Dave, uh, Bob Brooks. Brooks's uh, retirement and our congressman is trying to pull his wife over, you know, to meet you. It's that kind of thing where we are the community. We were out at the Dallas Cowboys arrival in, in Point Magoo. There were five media sources there. One from Ventura County. Okay? And none from Los Angeles or Santa Barbara County, we that's might ask. The, and that's the scariest part about this. In other words, if it doesn't bleed and it doesn't do things, it, money is important. No two ways about it. We are not a nonprofit corporation. However, we also have a feeling for the community. So the, the main drive, okay, is not to make tons of money at anyone's expense. We're trying to do something that is really good at this time of our life that we're going to be remembered here in the community. I think, you know, in a way, I see you as, as being that integral part. Well, you, you raise a good point about what it is that we want to do, and what we want to do is we want to help make Ventura County aware of what's going on in Ventura County. And yes, there is the Star, which does a good job, and there is the Acorns, and there's the VC Breeze, and there's the VC Reporter, and 
there's um, what the Fillmore Gazette, and there, I mean, they, there are things that exist, but actually there's nothing that exists uh, television-wise. And so none, none for us. the whole county. Right, and none yeah. for the, that's the except thing. For the, well, the except star. for the star. Right, but um, even still, it's, there, it's not like we've created this need. The need's there. We're trying to fill the need. We're trying to satisfy the need. Well, for most of the people, and you know, it's when I first moved to Ventura County, Katy Television was providing that resource. Resource. I mean, with Tracy Lear and Joe Butita doing, you know, one hour news and sports show every day. That's how I learned, you know, when I moved from Los Angeles, that's what I wanted to basically see. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to hear about the obituary columns, you know, forgive me, in Los Angeles. And at the time, Channel 3, you know, Kate, you know, up in Santa Barbara was doing a job, but due to certain limitations, there's less and less reporting being done, and that's the, that's the niche that we're starting to look at filling. Right. And um, that involves you. So if there is a campaign that you'd like us to be aware of, i.e. a 5K run, if there is a cause that you think we need to know about, if there's an issue that's going on, if there's a, a crime thing in terms of your neighborhood, it, whatever it is, that's what we want to be. We want to respond to your needs. So the contact us on the website is the perfect place to do that. And um, also by sharing the word. We've been, as we keep saying, we've been under the radar, but uh, who? Jeff Dean at uh, John Cronbach's retirement said, I don't know how you can say that, Marie. You're everywhere. What are you talking about under the radar? It's like, well, we haven't done any publicity. Let's just put it that way. We haven't done any promotion whatsoever. We haven't uh, crafted a press release yet that, that will be coming. But we really wanted the product, the website, and um, the studio as uh, you know, up to speed as possible. And we're pretty much there. And let's uh, basically, so that we could at least end this on a pretty good uh, note, couple of the big things that we're going to be doing, December 11th, mm -hmm. anybody who wants to come out to the Channel Islands and watch the Channel Islands boat parade. Uh, join us. Join us, please. We are going to, going to be at the Marine Landing Emporium at the Mokeka Restaurant. And please come up there. Uh, we'll do interviews. But uh, Maria and the rest of the crew, uh, we're going to be broadcasting live. So if you can't make it, watch things like that. That'll be nice. You know? And then uh, Monday, we're going to be again at the Reagan Library right. because we are uh, covering Mike Huckabee's, Governor Mike Huckabee's visit to the Reagan Library. It's a book signing uh, from noon to one. And since they have uh, spectacular internet, we should be live for that. Okay. Um, so uh, join us for that, if you will. And we're concluding our conversation with KABYTV.com founder Bob Allen. And our next guest is Howard J. Fox, The Truth About Men. Thank you for watching the Maria Sanchez Show. We'll be right back.